Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sharice Hamblin. I'm so excited for tomorrow's vaccine event that we can get more of our community protected. For those of you who were unable to make the Zoom meeting with Pastor Simmons and the other uh, docs who were on, I'm just coming to give some last information. One, the COVID vaccine that we're receiving is the Moderna vaccine. And the second dose is indicated in four weeks. So March 21st, will be the appointment for the second dose and you should have come at the same time uh, at the same location, LEMSA will be back. If there's any problems with the vaccine supplies we've all been hearing in the news, we'll be reached out to before that date to let you know of any scheduled change. Uh, but we should be back together again on March 21st for the second dose. Tomorrow, if you can make sure that you wear something that we can access the top of your, uh, your arm because the vaccine will be given in the deltoid. So either, either side and uh, we'll be vaccinating in the fellowship hall and also in the sanctuary. So this isn't like going into a doctor's office or into a private room. So just make sure that you're wearing something that you'll be comfortable to get your vaccination. We're receiving the Moderna vaccine, um, which is an mRNA vaccination. M mRNA is messenger RNA and it gives us uh, our bodies a transcript for a protein. And so the way that the vaccine works is it gives you the transcript or the messenger RNA to create the spike protein of the COVID virus. So you're not receiving any part of the COVID virus. You're receiving the message for your own body to produce the spike protein. Once given the vaccine, our bodies uh, get that message to produce the protein, the spike protein. Your body goes into production of the spike protein and then your own immune system recognizes that that spike protein is not part of your own body, it's something foreign, and you mount an immune response. That process can cause some feeling of sicky, sicky feeling, uh, malaise, or even fever, um, and some soreness at the injection site as your body reacts to where you gave it. Uh, and so you may over the next couple of days wanna take Tylenol or ibuprofen or something else that you normally take for a headache or for a uh, pain reliever. Uh, you'll be observed after the vaccine for 15 minutes. Everyone will be observed together right where you right where you got it. After that observation period, you'll go home and we have a flow of traffic throughout the building. Uh, over the next few days, if you don't feel well or you're not sure of something, you should feel free to contact your primary care provider and let them know, I received the COVID vaccine, I'm feeling like this, and they can advise you about anything to do subsequent. Um, for anyone with an immediate reaction, which is very rare, there is emergency uh, supplies and emergency kit that LEMSA will be arriving with. Um, other questions that were brought up were if you had already had COVID, can you receive the vaccine? Yes, you can and you should if you've recovered from COVID. We know that there's varying amount or length of immunity after actual COVID virus, which also has to do with how much um, you uh, how much of a response you have to, um, how, how sick you got with, with COVID. Go. Uh, good morning, Faith Tabernacle family. Uh, I'm Dr. Cherie Livingston, organizer for Patients Are Waiting and OBGYN department chair at UPMC Lidditz. And we are just really happy to be able to share the information that we've come to learn uh, regarding the COVID vaccine. So I wanna talk specifically about allergic reaction. So Moderna and Pfizer are the two vaccines that are currently available. And the good news about both of them is the chance of having a severe allergic reaction to either of them is extremely rare. So much so that uh, the CDC quotes about one to 100,000 to one in a million chance of getting an anaphylactic reaction. And when we talk about uh, allergic reactions, it's somewhat of a graded response. Like you can have a tiny little like rash from eating a peanut all the way up to having anaphylaxis, which is your body shutting down to allergic reaction. Those are extremely rare. You might get a sore arm, you might get a local tissue reaction to the medication, but the reality is if you had to look at it this way, one in a thousand of us have died from COVID, unfortunately. So if you have one to a hundred thousand to one in a million chance of having a severe allergic reaction, you're a thousand times more likely to die of COVID than you are to have a, an adverse reaction. So 
when you look at it that way and you holistically see the numbers, it just makes sense to get the vaccine. Thanks so much, Dr. Livingston. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. All right, well, we will see you all tomorrow and I hope that was helpful. Bye. Bye.